Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try Ice House. Now this is from uh, Miller Brewing Company and so I went to the gas station last night to pick some up because I don't have any more let, let's say nationwide beers um, and I was looking I'm like nope I've had that done that they don't have very many um, but I wanted to clean them out before I went to the next one um, and they had this and I'm like okay I know ice house but then I picked it up and it's like warm I'm like that's weird maybe they just put them in there but then I looked up and they had some more ice house way in the back and I'm like, what's going on? And their um, coolers broke down. So I don't know how long they've been out, but he's like, you're not going to want to drink that. Well, obviously, I'm not going to drink it warm. Um, so we'll have to see if there's really any off flavors. I'll probably not even put out the video. Uh, but I don't know how long they were down. They were saying uh, today, this was last night, that today they were supposed to be in to fix it. So Ice House, 5.5% ABV. Uh, let's check IBUs. No IBUs listed. Oh, darn it. I just clicked off everything. Um, there we go. Uh, no IBUs listed. They are saying this is a freeze distilled beer. Um, just like the Bud Ice and Natty Ice uh, in there. First domestic ice beer. I just want to see if they said anything. Um, just before aging, the temperatures, okay, lower to below freezing. Because I was looking at the can, and um, it says on here, brew, ice brewed. And I'm like, ice brewed, you're not, how are you going to brew this in ice? You need flame, you need to extract the sugars. There's no way this is ice brewed, uh, which I still don't, yeah, it says it right on the back, ice brewed. Um, you're not brewing this at negative temperatures or anything like that, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. You're not doing that. It's the same thing as the other ice beers. They're probably cooling it down, taking the crystals out to make it smoother. But this says bolder taste instead of smoother taste. So let's go ahead. I think this was a dollar oh five. And I think I did mention this in one of the comments. Um, once I get through a lot of these ice beers, I think what I'll do just for fun uh, is go buy them all again and do like a blind side by side, have Jessica pour them all, mix them all up and do all that and see if I can remember what's what. Because still in my head, I could pick out Milwaukee's best ice out of anything in the world. Um, uh, Off-white head, there is something in there. Um, about a half a finger of head on there. Golden yellow in color, golden color. Um, very clear magnifying glass. I do have some chill haze on the glass. Uh, good bubble level coming up, but yeah, magnifying glass. Let's go ahead and smell. Yeah, a little malted barley almost coming off as like a cracker, like a, a slightly toasted cracker with a little maltiness to back it up. I want to say a little sweetness is in there, almost like they, I, I know, like a turbinado sugar or something, a little sweetness like that. Other than that, I don't smell anything else. No off flavor, so I'm guessing, I'm hoping the cooler wasn't down for long, even though the beer was warm when I got it. Let's go ahead and taste. Very light, watered down, like a malty, grainy cereal taste. A little sugar and... Uh, in the back to the aftertaste that malt kind of warms up quickly and pretty much covers your mouth malt cereal whatever something like that it seems like this has more sweetness in it a 
thicker body, I would say almost pushing medium, even though like the taste, the taste is coming through if you smashed like a two row and put in way too much water and drained it, then tried to drink it, that taste, not the, the body's, I, I guess I shouldn't have said watered down. It's very, it, it is, the taste is watered down, but the body is thicker. If I remember of the other ones, I would say this one so far has the thickest body. Very smooth, goes down. The sweetness though, I think this one has the best, the, the thickest body and the most sweetness to it. If my mind serving me correct. And I think I, I, I could see that coming from the homebrew side that the, the, the more sugar you leave in the beer, the thicker the body is going to be. If you draw out more of that sugar, which is going to turn into alcohol, the thinner the body is going to be. So you have to put like oats or something in there to thicken it up. But if you mashed in an extra two pounds of grain, but didn't let it finish, you could have a real thick beer. This one's kind of weird for me. I, I don't like the, I want one or the other. You're getting that multi thicker body, but you're also getting the sweetness. I don't know what kind of bold taste they're looking for. Nothing bold except for like the sugar aspect really sticks out in my mind. I mean, I guess you could do a say it was ice brewed because it obviously didn't ferment all the way and they didn't, uh, yeah, it didn't ferment all the way. So that left the body thicker and more sugar in there. Uh, for me, I'd have to go with a three out of five on this. It's not bad. I could drink it. I will finish it, but I, I don't want, I want one or the other. I want the malt or I want the sweetness and not both mixed together. So let's see what untapped gave it. I'm sure it's not going to be good. Uh, 2.35 is what my friends and overall 2.06. I think this is the first ice house I've ever had. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Is it worth a dollar oh five? Yeah. I mean, it's beer's beer. It's Again, I've said this in a couple other ones. There's been craft beers, uh, Juicy Tree by Shorts, that you can't even drink. And I scored at a .25. And this is a 3. So, yeah, I think for what it is, it's fine. It's just not one for me. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.